welcome everybody. My name is Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me for the Taurus March 2022 horoscope. Okay, so some good news this month is that we've got no retrograding planets and we've got uh, no eclipses. A little weird thing that's happening uh, if you're uh, located in the US is that you may have a second new moon this month depending on where you are. Uh, if you're on Pacific uh, Standard Time and some areas of mountain time uh, then you could get a, uh, a second new moon known as a black moon on the 31st of the month otherwise it will be on the 1st of April for everybody else okay so something a bit different the US uh, is currently going through a thing called its Pluto return that happens there roughly every 247 years and that's when Pluto uh, returns back to the same place it was when the Declaration of Independence was signed. So that continues until 2024. Uh, so we can expect as it gets closer and closer to being exact, that exact same exact uh, place, then uh, things like manipulation, control, power over others, life, death and rebirth. Uh, will be a continuing theme okay so but the important thing to know this month is that even if you've got all of that stuff going on in the background and it does affect the whole world by the way uh, you know we talk about the US as being a sort of separate country but really for many countries such as my own country Australia when the US does something some uh, adopts some policy or adopts some stance our country follows straight away <laughs> so and there are other countries uh, Australia is usually one of the first ones uh, there are other countries that follow suit as well so it's important for the whole world uh, to know that uh, the US is going through its Pluto return and there could be a lot of sort of uprising and uh, you know revolution at hand although that's more Uranian uh, that sort of rebellious sort of defiance really goes with Uranus. I must have a look to see uh, what Uranus is doing for the US. But uh, we have personally, uh, many of us have good news this month. So uh, I'll just briefly explain what I do. I like to draw two tarot cards as theme cards uh, for the month for you. We'll have a look at your horoscope in depth and then I'll do a psychic channeling at the end. So stick around for that. Let's go to the board now. We can have a look what's happening and there is a fair bit happening here and we'll look at the cards first so the first card the first half of the month as a key theme for you terrific taurus let's see what comes out no don't i'll go with that one under there okay Closing my eyes to get the colour purple straight away, uh, indicates spirituality, some sort of feeling of opening up, the crown chakra opening up and so you could become more aware of uh, the importance of spirit in your life and also something about um, bringing that awareness into the physical world so you might start to change things in your physical life so maybe it's just making your house a more comfortable sanctuary or buying little spiritual trinkets to put around uh, or adopting a spiritual practice for example the card that comes up is the four of wands okay this suggests that there is a window of opportunity it's time sensitive uh, it is a great time for you to enjoy the harvest see these grapes here and to take some R&R, &R, take some time off and enjoy what you've done. And that will actually help grow your life. See all these leaves here? But you need to take action. It's not going to happen if you just continue doing what you're doing. Uh, and so to get the most out of your life, you need a little bit of time out for some fun. And to get re-motivated. Wands is always about, you know, motivation. Uh, so to get remotivated and um, you know to surge forward because there is uh, you know your time for surging forward will be coming up the the planets are making their way around the wheel and they're going to come into your sign next month so yeah time to start getting ready for a change in cycle okay so now we'll look at the second half 
of the month for you for March for Terrific Taurus. Okay, I'll go with that one. Closing my eyes now. I see the Egyptian Ankh, which is the symbol of life. You know, it's sort of like an oval at the top with a cross uh, down the bottom. Some, a cross always means some sort of um, sacrifice. So, you know, energy, effort, your time. Uh, but yeah, some life affirming energy or vitality coming back to you. Uh, and here we have the Ace of Pentacles. Spirit is literally handing you an opportunity, most probably around your money. Pentacles can be possessions, can also be the things you value. Uh, maybe they're not um, material, maybe they're to do with things like um, uh, integrity or honesty or you know love or something like that uh, but spirit is handing you a bit of a chance here to improve yourself financially now there's a bower of trees here see all this green green is good for money uh, and you'll see it's like cloud maybe a bit of confusion at, at the start but as as the time goes on and you proceed there's blue sky on the other side of the trees on the other side of the bower so this is looking very favorable for a new beginning around your finances okay now I'm just going to make this a bit bigger uh, so that you can see more easily there we go bear these cards in mind because it's likely that they'll come up in the reading somehow in the horoscope so I'll just put them there like that okay uh, and Firstly, you'll see a lot of the planets are in the top part of the uh, wheel, which is really the southern hemisphere, okay? It's like we're in the north and we're looking, you know, sort of from this angle. So this is the southern hemisphere. When you have so many planets up the top here, your life becomes more pub public in some way, okay? There's also a lot more over on this side you know um, in this fourth quadrant uh, which indicates something to do with society or the collective your community large groups of people okay could be effective affected uh, your rule of venus uh, is here in the ninth house uh, developing expanding and assisting you to grow your life but it's going to move into the 10th house uh, it's uh, in Capricorn so this suggests that um, this is going to be real physical structured steady growth and then it goes here into the 10th house and it's going to be um, basically around your career or your general life direction there's a positive change things go more smoothly people help you you help other people uh, it's polite it's um, yeah smooth flowing okay so that's good news uh, and two new moons in the west of the US I've discussed that no retrogrades no eclipses and society and the collective play a big part as well as your life being public okay let's have a look in depth now the 27th of February to the 2nd of March, Mars conjuncts Venus. This is fabulous for relationships and especially um, new romantic relationships uh, because um, there's a lot of energy to be with somebody. Uh, if you're not in a relationship but you'd like to be, you're more likely to be bold and to go out there and get it. Uh, and, you know, you could possibly meet someone you're quite attracted to if you're not interested your artistic and uh, creative uh, talents are likely to be favored now from the 28th to the 2nd of March your ruler uh, also conjuncts Mars so this gives you a strong desire to make a fresh start to um, uh, be more independent to strike out on your own and you're likely to have more physical energy to feel more vital uh, and you know you could go for a walk in the morning to get take the edge off some of that energy uh, and uh, it's time to really put it into maybe exercise or into work but do watch for accidents you want to be really thinking about the present not floating off into the future uh, because Mars can be quite future 
oriented and then you know you have a trip or a fall or something anger impatience and irritability uh, you know possible as well the 28th of February unto, until the 2nd of March See, there's so much happening in that time period Venus is conjuncting Venus so it gives you a strong desire for love and affection and again a new romance or a new friendship could begin if you're in a, a relationship already it's likely to be rejuvenated in some way if there's an old friend or somebody you want to reach out to now's a good time uh, it could be the start of something beautiful uh, it is time to be surrounded by beauty and harmony and again your creativity is enhanced uh, the second of the month sees a new moon uh, move into your 11th house here so it's moving from there to there it moves the moon moves very fast uh, and um, so this gives you the desire for emotional contact with other people and for um, community you want to be with like-minded people and uh, the closeness between yourself and others including uh, your family is likely to be enhanced uh, there could be some sort of uh, cultural event where you go out with a group of people and have a good time 28th of february to the 2nd of march again so this is a pivotal part the start of the month and and all of this activity happening right at the start uh, sun is six dialing uranus uh, you could act on impulse there's some sort of change in your normal routine there's a lot of improvising and using your intuition um, maybe your logic isn't as strong as what it normally is that's okay because uh, you know it's not a good idea to think all of the time uh, you know so leave some space for intuition without all that mental machinery going all the time uh, time may seem to be slowing down or speeding up probably speeding up and uh, it's likely to be an unpredictable but interesting time and again the 28th of February to the 3rd of March Venus conjuncting Mars and um, this is very good for romance a lot of amorous desires and um, even you know at the very least you're likely to feel quite warm and affectionate maybe uh, not as competitive as what you are at other times fabulous for art music and creativity the first to the fourth mars conjuncts pluto okay um this is about clearing out so you want to let go of the past you want, might want to get rid of something uh, undertake some major change or an overhaul in your some area of your life you might clean out your wardrobe for example uh, do be careful you that you don't force yourself you don't push yourself too hard or other people either <laughs> uh, you could have the best of intentions uh, but it's like you're working towards something and you're very single-minded about achieving something and uh, you might not even be really aware of this drive or this instinct to keep going on something uh, it could create power struggles so just watch for that fourth to the fifth of april venus uh, moves into your tenth house up here uh, this is a very public it becomes more public so it's your career it's your out there dealing with the world basically and with venus there your social standing or reputation could improve in some way especially uh, through making contact with other people that are in positions of power or, or authority could be socializing making friends at work uh, you could make a good friend at work or through work or meet somebody who's very beautiful and charming through your work uh, it's a great time to enhance your public standing the fourth to the 14th sees mars also uh, move into your 10th house so uh, it's some point uh, probably going to be conjunct with venus uh, so it's going to give you a lot of energy uh, and you could be you could charm your way to success in work uh, or your career or maybe your reputation or social status uh, just watch for 
ego conflicts although it's not a big confl uh, it's not a big chance of that with venus because venus doesn't really like conflict uh, and so she might take the edge off it because she's just moved in there as well uh, so yeah it is good to watch your uh, temper and um, yeah stay present and grounded in this reality and not float off into the future and uh, be patient and wait rather than rush ahead with something from the fourth to the seventh venus squares your ascendant because your ascendant will be here and it's going to uh, cross across uh, here into your 10th house and it's going to make a 90 degree angle so it'll be a square but uh, with Venus it's more likely that you'll want to play the role of a peacemaker uh, and loving relationships giving and receiving affection attracting people into your life uh, is quite likely uh, Mercury moves into your 11th house from the 9th to the 26th and uh, there so mercury is going from the 10th to the 11th to the 12th this month so a busy quite a busy active month uh, if you belong to a club or organization you could be involved in group discussions uh, and even if you don't normally participate in any such group you'll find that you're more attracted to you know some sort of community uh, and you'll want to be dealing with groups of people that are on a similar page to you uh, it's time to socialize with people that you share common interests with okay then we have 18th the full moon in your sixth house here this is all about your day-to-day -day work your habits your health and your well-being and uh, the full moon could bring some turbulence uh, it's time to get a bit of privacy if you can um, could be some sort of issue comes up at work and and you're going to have to respond to it or there's some sort of um, issue around your health diet nutrition or maybe you just want to put your life in order you know you see now you can see little ways that you can improve your life self-improvement uh, some sort of program is quite likely or perhaps you decide you want to do a detox or an exercise regime uh, or something like that 15th of March to the 24th Jupiter sextiles your MC this is fabulous especially if you have your own business because there is significant growth there in your business or in your career or maybe if you're not working your general life direction takes an upbeat sort of swing it changes direction a little bit uh, which whichever way you look at it, it's going to be very positive uh, anything that's not personally fulfilling or rewarding you might let go of that now and look for something you know a better direction that's going to make you happy because although you might be working if you are working for money that's not enough to keep you there you, it's like you want more you want to feel personally fulfilled uh, you're more likely to have confidence and to feel good about yourself and yeah that happy sort of attitude is around you and it could spread to people around you such as your family there's likely to be also improvements in your personal life and um, yeah don't sit back and and not do anything with this influence because it could be really beneficial uh, you might feel so comfortable with all, everything that you just sit there and <laughs> don't do anything but some opportunities are coming so I, I say you know really look at them and take advantage of them 19th of march to the 19th of april the sun moves into your 12th house here this is a fabulous time for retreating from the world uh, looking at your dreams uh, meditating you know have have some time out for rejuvenation and um, yeah put your projects and things like that on hold uh, so that you can really go within and um, you know look at your own feelings uh, the 25th uh, to the 10th of April also sees Mercury go into the 12th house here uh, so you might find you're having more dreams or you're having very vivid dreams and uh, this is a great time to look at them analyze them or study look at metaphysics open yourself up and allow your intuition to flow more because 
with Mercury. Mercury is all about messages and ideas and uh, you might find yourself thinking a lot about what's going on in your subconscious. So it's not really the time for doing stuff, it's the time for being and you'll probably have a more wait and see attitude at the moment. 31st sees a new moon in your 12th house depending on your location if you're in the US so if you're east of um, the mountain mountain time zone if you're east of there uh, you'll have your new moon the next day on the 1st of April otherwise if you're west of there you'll have two in the one month uh, and um, this means that you're probably going to be more sensitive and perceptive at the moment and you know your intuition is on on high you may want more privacy and solitude and you want to sort of shield yourself away from the world generally speaking but a fabulous time for meditation contemplation and spiritual renewal okay so now I'm just going to close my eyes and see what I can see for you terrific Taurus for March 2022 okay I'm looking down it's like it's a body of water like a lake perhaps I see a little sort of wooden boat here and it's just like floating across the lake and so you know if you could actually do this go out on a lake and just sit and be with the water and be still and let the wind go through your hair that would be fabulous this is telling me that um, because it is so still there's not much um, turbulence going on deep down in your subconscious and it's like it's so crystal clear you can see what's going on in the water uh, which is like being in the waters of your subconscious so you can see very clearly uh, how you feel about things and now they're showing me a cupboard with some old brass keys on the cupboard door and it's like you have to get the key and open yourself up to find what you can find out you know because those things that are pushed down inside us they control us so we when we start to look at them they they lose that control they lose their power and there could be really good things down there in your subconscious like treasure chests full of gifts uh, such as you know increased confidence for example you know so many times um, we don't do stuff because we haven't got the confidence and say oh well I didn't think I knew how to do that properly so I didn't do it whereas you know it's um, ironic isn't it that you have to actually experience something by doing it and practicing it and then you get confidence from that uh, rather than putting it off and never doing it something about bottles of milk who's run out of milk uh, I see conveyors conveyor belts of milk uh, and I just want to say make sure you stock up in March on milk I really don't know if there's shortages or what that means uh, but it just seems really important to have a good supply of milk maybe buy those ones uh, that are prepared you know that are in the cardboard box so they keep uh, and have a few of those in the cupboard uh, just in case also there's something about people turning up unannounced or unexpected it's good um, you just wish you had a bit of notice first maybe that's why it's important to have milk maybe you can throw something together uh, with some milk you know some cakes or something I don't know <laughs> I don't cook I'm terrible at it um, but um, yeah make sure that you stock your pantry well for March okay anything else and they're handing me a white rose which is a symbol of um, a connection with somebody like a spiritual connection but it's very pure and very spiritual uh, spiritually like a spiritual based love is what it's about okay so you've got that connection happening uh, this month with somebody on a spiritual level at least okay so that's it terrific Taurus I hope this is helpful for you leave a like or a comment and share on your socials that would be fabulous if you're new subscribe and be live and hit that notification bell right now have a wonderful month everyone and I will see you all again soon okay bye for now thanks so much for watching 
please visit my website absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.